what are actions the actions page in the platform platform section that this comes under the admin part in the looker admin look uh, your looker instance contains a sets of services that can be made integrable with looker with some certain settings but for the time being or uh, but for the sake of this discussion on the tech talk i'll be just focusing on this these three topics like google store google cloud storage google sheets google drive and yes bigquery as well for for your reference or for for your reference purposes and for the documentation purposes i given the link 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 here to check on the list of integrated services that are there okay now how do we go about integrating google sheets with looker in the in my in my instance i'll go to this part admin platform under platform it has variety of options i'll go with actions in the actions part here i can see i can already see that my google sheets and google drive options are enabled we can check the settings as well over here it's a, it's a simple straight and uh, straightforward process for google sheets and google drive nothing we have to do nothing uh, nothing providing credentials nothing providing authorization key nothing it's a simple straight and straightforward step like we just need to uh, click on this enable and do thing okay now i'll go back since this is enabled already what i'll do is that i have i already have my data say i am encountering a setback or encountering a drawback i'm not able to generate the particular visualization that i want for my business user so here beside after after hitting on the run button what i can do is that i can click on this option of gear menu this will give me all these options what i can do is that i can click on send i already have this option google sheet now i or i Prior to presenting this topic, I had already created a uh, folder called Looker. Here, I can give a uh, name as like and I can click on Send. After clicking on this, I have to go back a uh, Drive. Ah, uh, yes, I got this like uh, yes now i can click on that this will be this will this will come in a dot csv file and over here i'll have my data now basing upon how do we create visualizations using pivots uh, uh, charts pie charts in google sheets we can uh, do this one more thing before before moving forward one more thing i like i'd like to draw the attention over here is that here let's say i have this data set and I have got three columns, like one, two, three, uh, like four columns, sorry, one, two, three, four. Here, let's say I'm removing one column. And let's say if I hit on run, and if I click on send, Google Sheets and Looker, if I give the same name as data set, check this option of no, previously, I had given my name and POC and I have written as yes, but now I'm using already existing data set in my folder and I'm giving as giving it override. Yes. If I, if I click on send the data set that I have right now will get override with the data that I, that I'm going to send. If I click on send, let me refresh this. See one, two, and three. Previously it was, it was four columns, but now it is three columns. Now we will be moving forward, integrating Looker with Google Cloud Storage. Okay, this all these things are the steps that I mentioned that I mentioned right now. One thing to note over here is that if you are using the integration like Google Sheets integration with uh, uh, Looker for the first time, you need to verify your credentials the uh, first time. Like you will need to verify your credentials only once. After that, you will be able to kind of like send repeated repeated data from your from looker to google sheets integrating google cloud storage with looker okay now i'll again go back to my looker instance over here again what i'll do is that admin actions okay over here we i have google cloud storage i can click on the setting it's already enabled uh, here what is the thing that we need to do here i have given i have created i have created a service account with the uh, in the gcp console first step second th second step is that 
after you are after you have successfully created the gc uh, your service account you can migrate to your service account and in the top and then in the top top hand side you'll have a variety of options like uh, keys uh, keys and all keys permissions so if you click on keys by default you will be getting json if if you hit on enter your uh, your key will be automatically downloaded and it will contain all the information like uh, this private key project id everything will be there so the main thing that that we need to need to ensure is the private key because all other things will be as it is we need to copy and paste but the private key is something that we need to focus on this private key that you have right that i have right now in this private key was something like this something like this but we need to edit this and keep like this this should be this, we have to copy this entire thing and paste it over here once we are once we are done with all the things if if everything you are if everything you have done correctly all the buckets that that are linked with this service account will automatically appear in the looker if if you if there is if, the, if there are certain permissions issue that you are encountering then that will automatically get displayed while you are testing like when i was testing initially i was getting the permission issue that i don't have the storage bucket list permission so to to over to overcome this or to provide a provide a trick to you all what you can do is that while you have while you have configured your service account the permission that you will be requiring is storage admin you can directly assign or tell somebody who has the access to your gcp console to give you storage admin role because storage admin role will have all the required permissions like creating but creating objects inside the buckets or accessing the bucket list once you have the storage admin role everything will work perf perfectly fine you'll be able to get the buckets list you will be able to send the data from looker to your bucket that is linked to service account so i have already i have already done this with uh, with my service account with taking the uh, after uh, with my service account and they, then taking the private key and entering over here and then configuring at looker end i'll go back i'll hit on the scare menu send uh I, i'll choose google storage here the bucket list appears i'll choose mine okay file name i can give as okay now if i click on send okay what i what uh, what i'll need to do next is i can go to my google cloud console over here i can choose cloud storage i've already filtered it with my name and see there you go this uh now uh, this was the name that i gave in uh, at looker side and it came over here in the like integra uh, like integration of this looker with uh, gcs has been successful because like whatever whatever data i wanted to send i have sent the steps that we followed for google sheets over here that is one and the same that is similar to google drive nothing here and there nothing uh, up and down everything is similar so but you can you know, we can configure uh, google, google drive similarly as we configure google sheets everything is simple and straight forward uh, we have completed integration of uh, google sheets with uh, looker integration of google sheets with google cloud storage now we'll move with integration of google sheets with bigquery table okay uh, before moving forward what we have to do is that we need to create a table with the schema definition suppose over here in explore i have let's say three columns i need to i need to give three all the three column names over here while creating table while creating a while creating a table i need to give all the three all the three table names and while giving the table names i need to ensure that i don't give the view name as well because over here sample is a view name i, I need to ensure that i don't give my view name over here i just need to give only the column names and at last i need to give another column record created as this is the first step of creating a empty table the second step over here is we need to enable the api access for cloud functions and bigquery that we can go over here api and services enable api and services over here we can choose the required function and the bigquery part and we need to enable on that after creating that uh, we need to create the cloud functions okay before that what is the what is a cloud function cloud function is basically a function or uh, that we create in a in a bigquery in a bigquery by writing a certain piece of code 
that will enable us to interact with other service basically over here looker so after we created a after we create the cloud function we are making bigquery interact with looker and in turn making looker interact with bigquery for enabling the data transfer now over here we need to we need to create three three cloud function one is action list this function will return the json static json list that uh, static json that lists all the actions your uh, hub uh, will have each cloud list function will contain the metadata that will instruct looker to execute the action after uh, the, the, after creating this function after creating this cloud function we need to uh, give action form cloud function uh, this function tells looker to generate a template that should be displayed to a particular end user to configure the action action execute cloud function does uh, does the job of sending uh, uh, does the job of enabling the looker to send the payload form information and other metadata that is required to execute a given action uh, this for if either if either of this function action list cloud function action form cloud function or action execute, execute cloud function doesn't doesn't work so we will not be able to configure or properly send the data from looker to bigquery so uh, because they, because uh, all all these functions are important because uh, this action form cloud uh, this action form cloud function and and the action execute cloud function url or the trigger url that will get generated we need to supply that in the actionless cloud function to enable that to work after we have successfully after we have successfully uh, after we successfully did this we need to enable this thing in our looker instance we have to follow this process and uh, we'll be able to send we'll be able to send the data from like uh, looker to bigquery this feature this upcoming feature i'd like to also uh, tell that this this is the upcoming feature that was recently announced announced by google that uh, they are going to release this connected sheets integration with looker that will enable us to like uh, make use of google sheet features like formatting for uh, writing formulas and creating visualization this this has been announced but this feature has not been rolled out yet to enable us to uh, uh, like uh, work with work work with google sheets with this feature the data model or the data modeling that we do in the lookml part in the development mode of looker we will be able to connect connect with that directly with the help of uh, google sheets uh, in this way uh, we are neglecting or uh, bypassing the part of looker actions here we don't need to enable any looker actions and we will be directly able to connect look connect google sheets with the data model in the lookup